means to surrender. Yes. To put it in the hand of somebody yeah. who can help you out.
Because I'm not on earth level no more. I'm wearing all these feet. Oh, come on. Come on, get stuck. A car. I have mounted up. Yeah. Upon the wings of the
lot of people that sing, but they don't sing in order. They want to sing when they get ready. They don't want to sing to bless the body. Bring a collective anointing. They want to show off. They want to do a solo. They got to tap the mic on this Abraham, 
Henceforth, there is laid up for me. Wait a minute. Now I'm reading Timothy, fourth chapter, and I just finished with the seventh verse. Second, I'm in uh, Second Timothy, four and seven. Did four and seven read like I'm mine? No. Yeah. 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 What is the eighth verse? Henceforth, there is laid up for me. Now, now, now I like what it says here. Well, what did yours say? How about? Huh? No, you ain't got no Bible. <laughs> you got somebody in the notebook. Yeah. I didn't ask you to read the whole thing. I asked you with one word. I see. Who <laughs> should come on out? Did you come in? Oh, I'm coming over your house. You go over there like that. 
be done with these domestic squabbles? I'm talking to somebody. Yes, these seasonal things. Come on, man. Oh Lord, get today season for the nuts. Oh. <laughs> look for pecans. Walnuts. Peanuts. Coconuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts. Oh Jesus. Yeah, tell me the way they do the grocery bag down. <laughs> Thank you. 
achievements, it's benefits, it's rewards. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My commitment, my obedience, yes, my submissiveness to him, Hallelujah. my yes, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. My crown will reflect all of that. Yes, yes. I want my crown. I want my crown. I want my crown. Yes, yes. It is a merit yes, It is not just a monument yes, of achievement yes. upon my head. And not to me, 
me on. But also, but all who have loved is appearing. See, when you were everybody else happened but me first. Oh, oh, excuse me, and then y'all. Right, get ready, because I'm going to get on out the way. I don't know if they want to take it further away, but I had to relieve myself. This crown is only to people who love his appearance. Now, if I would judge by the way some of y'all look, I would say you don't want him to appear here this morning. <laughs> He's talking about every time he manifests in the service. Yeah, every time he show up, you love him. Yeah. You'll be looking at what I'm talking about, I got to go home. Yeah. This is worth saying over for. Because yeah. he hit me. Yeah. My movie star. Yeah. My star was strong. Oh, and 
God, give me that number, man. Do what I'm gonna do to nothing. You know another man gonna make another situation. This is another problem. God, I made a mistake. You didn't think so early. Oh, your neck up, son. You ain't reading. No, you don't have one. Anybody that's with a backward column? I guess you over all of us this morning. <laughs> <laughs> that's a suit of an eye. <laughs> 13th chapter of Matthew. Everybody with a Bible. If you don't have a Bible, sit next to somebody. Because I'm going to be talking to you.
and he said. Nothing disturbed him. You can't come out the house, out the house worrying about the house while you're sitting by the seat. You got the set. And that set the notes, relax. Some of you here, but you're not relaxed. You got me on the clock. You gave me a time to talk and get out of the way so you can get up and go away. Come on, for God's sake, settle. Become still. Quiet yourself. He 
is experience three different environments. So many of us don't have enough environment to be talking to the rest of us. You just sit in one place, squabble about one thing, raise hell about one thing. You've been quarantined, locked down in captivity, and it's all about you. And you make a small pack, but God want to bring this city to you. God want to bring all your family to you. The moment he got outside, COVID, the moment two. Small and close. Yes, you're wrapped up in yourself. Yes. Self makes a very small pack. When you're wrapped up in yourself, you're the only one that's saying you're right and everybody else. Everybody wrong. I'm right. I know what I want. You can tell me. I know. I want me. Mm. <laughs> I love me. Amen. I want to show you something now. Stay with me. Read from it. And the whole multitude stood on the Whole means everybody that was supposed to be there. Satan could not persuade, dissuade anybody to stay home. Everybody that was predestined to be there for a life change experience, they were there. Yeah. When you and I get in our place, God will send the people that need to be there. God will send the stuff that you need. He'll supply. Come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Yeah. All you got to do is get in place. If you're out of place, God's not going to send it because he's got the right address. When you're in the wrong place, it's not coming there because he's got the right address on the envelope. Read from him, I'm quick. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying. Now he spake many things to them in parables, saying. Behold, a sower went forth to sow. Wait a minute. Now that's what got me miserable. That got me right there. Because that's not like him. You can almost always tell what he's going to talk about by what environment he's in. If he talk about a father, the wife's going to talk about sons. If he talk about farmers, he's going to talk about sheep. The context is always connecting with the environment. Yes. But this time it threw me off. Because God wanted to get my attention. Here, he's by the water, moves from the water to a ship. He's in a ship. But he's talking about seed and not fish. Come off this stuff. I'm confused. That's so not like him. Yeah. But of course he can do anything he wants to do. Because he's sovereign. Yeah. He can talk about anything he wants to talk about. Because yeah. he's the word. Yeah. Hallelujah. But I'm messed up. Hallelujah. I see some of y'all messed up. Yeah. He's sitting <laughs> on a boat. But he's not talking about fish. He's talking about the sea. Yeah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. All right. Yeah. He's not telling them how to fish from a boat. That's what they need to know. Oh, it seemed like he skipped the subject matter. Yeah, yeah. Can I say something to you? He knows what you have need. Amen. He 
knows what subject matter to deal with. Amen. He knows what you have need of. Yes, he knows the beginning from the end and the end from the beginning. Yeah. Your doctor told you you're about to end, but Dr. Jesus said, no, this is the beginning yes. for you. You've been ready to start in the area. In a way, he's saying, I'm going to say this again out of the way. You ain't going to catch no fish if you don't know the French are going to see you. You ain't going to pay this boat off. You ain't going to pay that house off. You ain't going to have that long vacation. Unless you learn. The principle of seed. Because from that, you're provided with all other blessings. I'm talking to especially three people here. Y'all in business. You're frustrated in heaven now. Learn the principle of seeding and your ship will have more fish. Amen. Amen. 
and they have four seats in it. And uh, the Lord said, I want you to get two. So I want you to start out right now with one. Tell the people about it. Yeah. And he said, and I'll put them in the same flow you're in if they pay for it. Right. Now, the first one I looked at was $10,000. But I told myself, the Lord said, don't stop. Keep looking in that random because God said, I'll get you one for five dollars $4,097. So that was the Lord saying, see, you ready to pay this time, I'm going to give you two, so the same price will get two, so he said Hallelujah. So the guy said, I'll get started, it's going to take a month to get it to you, but I need 25 months. Now, I can see that I'm way beyond something. I look at the guys and you, a chair, a horse, a track. You're so far from the kingdom of God, you think I'm nuts. What are you ever talking about? Amen. Amen. Not just a park of divinity. Not just to retrieve or hope. Amen. But the land of beauty. We're doing things there. He teaches 
how to see, how to show. Who's got grief? Man, you put your Bible back up on your chair. Go ahead. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, get to the seed, bro. And when he sowed some seeds, fell by the wayside. Now, when he sowed some seed, they fell by the wayside. I want to flip that. And I want to just say to you and keep moving. I want to be very aggressive here. Is that seeding is so important. He wants to bless those of you who are by the wayside. Those of you who really aren't in sync with church. You're not religious. Some of you may like me, but you don't like God. You just come because I'm a character, but you're not into the Holy Ghost. It'd be nice for you to see it too. Yes. 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 Some fell by the wayside. Go ahead. And the fowls came and devoured them up. The, it, devoured, it devoured it. The fowl, the fowls came and devoured it because it wasn't buried. When you give a seed, leave it alone. Don't go telling nobody what you gave. Don't come talking about it. And when I ask for another offering, you say, I ain't giving it because I gave that seed last year. Leave it buried. If you don't bury it, the fires of the air don't steal it. Those of you who already put a seed in my hand, bury it. Let it go. Give it up. Some fell by stony place. The invitation, the seed, is falling all over the place here. I'm saying that it would be beneficial if you don't plan to come to church ever again. The seed will follow you and bless you. Because he's not a man that he should not be shed. He'll break it. Some fell with a wet butt dirt. Come on, man, keep reading. And forthwith they sprung up because they had no deepness of earth. Okay, now what it's saying is some of y'all gonna see and get blessed like that. But because you're not consistent with the word, the devil gonna steal it from you. But God gonna keep his word. You gonna come into a blessing. You gonna get a lump sum of money. Somebody gonna give you a house. Somebody gonna give you a car, but you're gonna see the fruit of your gift. And it ain't gonna be no long time coming. Thank you. You're gonna see it. Now, once God bless you, pray for wisdom to hold on to what God gave you. Some of y'all have been blessed, but you let somebody beat you out of it. Oh, they come in already. You know some mess. You never know if you don't have. I ain't getting nothing. Ain't nobody talking to me. Amen. Bless you, brother. Bless you, brother. Amen. How you really putting all those on my own? Hallelujah. 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 Oh, my God. Man, don't come up here with no little fire. I don't know. This is a real money. I hate to see you come over here to New York and that thing that <laughs> Don't let your grandmother leave you that way. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Huh? You can see that you see one thousand, one hundred dollars. Amen. You said you couldn't have been, you still gotta give me some money. <laughs> I'm going to scream your neck back. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey! <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. 
Ten dollars, my mom. Look, I've been a Negro three times. <laughs> Negro baby, Negro boy, my Negro man. A lot of you in your second stage of being a Negro. I'm already a third. And they eat their blessing. They don't sow it. Some of you got a hundred, two, three hundred dollars in here. You can't do a lot for that. Because your mind has been elevated. You're on another plateau of living. God has brought you to a place where you live excellent. When you go shopping, you don't want no second-hand furniture. Shit, you won't stop now. You want to walk in the house, let your hand, everything come on.
spoke to me. I seen it. I seen people here. I saw this what happened. I was 60,000 miles on the church. It was dropped. Christians. Amen. 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 
Now, we have Christians under jealous pastors. That's a no-go. But the pastor's going to find something wrong with you to keep the people away from you. And one thing about it, they can't keep them from watching me on television, listening to the radio, and seeing me on screen. you may not have the money that you want to give me, but you have some money. Would you bring that now? Give me something. I'm not talking about the offering. I don't want to offer. Give God the offering. Give me the sacrifice. Give me something. Good shot! Yeah. 
Until then, if you are the ones who accompany him, you go do what you need to do. But when he rings your phone, you be in place. Be in place because this is really for him to get some rest, for God to restore him so he can further carry out the things of God and the kingdom of God. Amen. So I wanted to drop that nugget. I wanted to lay that brick with, with the saints of God. But again, verse 9 says, Who has ears to hear? Let him or her hear. Amen. Amen. Thank God.
become popular, they're all upset about this work because they ain't too. And I, I know they're going to be blessed because they're hot saying it. You know, and they want to see it done. And so, you know, so I just prophesied to them that man, things are going to happen for you today. Oh, you know, things are going to happen, an unusual thing, because what? Your spirit and your life has been connected with the man of God, and you want to help him do what he wants to do. And so I just praise God tonight. I tell you, Bishop. Thank you. But, but one thing I want to say, um, I appreciate the two men of God. They, they went with me. Um, and teaching is so important. Yeah, you know, man. And uh, one of my sisters passed, but then my other sister was sharing something with me about it. She was saying that she refused to keep my third. I'm saying, like, wow, why'd she do that? You know, when our pastor told us what? God wants you to be healed. Yeah. And he doesn't, and it doesn't care how you get healed. If you go through a doctor, if you go through, yeah, yeah. Because God can work you. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I'm thinking, man, man, maybe somebody should have, you know, but she wouldn't. I'm probably under the right teaching or the right instruction, yes, And it's so important to be under, okay. you know, the right instruction. Then not only that, to hear it and follow it up. But I'm like saying, hey, she might have been here a little longer, man. She just would have just went on and tried the chemo out. You know, you never know. But um, I just thank God for our bishop. I thank him for his teaching. This is supposed to be men, right? Amen. Amen. Who are you doing today? Since I don't know, like I said, I like contact the head. Yeah. And so. But we, we're going to be really, you know what I mean, correlating right. on the next time. But if you don't mind, I'd like Brother Jerome to come and sing. Yeah. Brother Jerome, I'm going to pray for the people before we leave this building. God just spoke to me to have contact with some of you. And I want Brother Jerome to come. Praise the Lord. And Joshua is going to come after him. Hallelujah. How you feeling? Huh? You're blessed, all right? And you ain't got to get stupid, man. You ain't in the home, just like that. That's how you want to feel. God bless the Bible. Say something for me. Yeah, I've asked Brother Jerome, the devil got mad and tried to take him out of circulation. But I'm depending on him to help us to go to a new sound. All right. Not avoiding or abandoning the old, but a new sound in the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Just give me a little bit. We do that. Praise the Lord. Right. <laughs> Before I sing, I just want to give God thanks to the Lord. I was sharing, you wasn't there, but I was sharing with my two and the people that were there in service Friday. How God set me up for something I wasn't even expecting. I was looking at one thing, but he was using me for another purpose. And that when you be obedient, God used you to touch people and he'll free you by you being obedient. Amen. Amen. But what I want to say is this right here. I am free. Praise the Lord, I'm free. No longer bound. No more chains holding me. My soul is resting. It's just a
made some wonderful impartations to her children. And when we got together, we said, let's stop working together. You may not know it, but hell trembled while that young man sung here.
continue to praise God. Stay in the spirit. The man of God mentioned something that I've been listening to the word of God. He mentioned about divine alignment. Glory to God. I just want to say that in any ministry, any church, you have a mission outreach. Glory to God. Every church have a mission outreach. Amen. That's, me, that's going to Africa, going to Georgia, going to here, there, everywhere. And you know that this church is on television. Glory to God. It's on what you call it? When you live streaming. I get back home and they say, I see you. Down there in South Carolina. A lot of people are watching this. But it costs money. Oh, don't get quiet on me. It costs money for that. That's to reach other countries and other places. People know Bishop Kids. Glory to God. He has a sound word. Amen. Not next Sunday, but the Sunday after that, the second Sunday, we want to have a, a mission service, glory to God, Amen. to reach the lost and to help people that are building, glory to God. You've got to have it. So we depending on you all, not the first Sunday, but the second Sunday, to have a mission service. Amen. Amen. And I also want to say this, that Bishop was speaking about being humble and doing what you have to do to stay in the will of God. Do what you have to do to make it where your word is at. Glory to God. I get up and my wife asked me, she said, where are you going? You going back to South Carolina? I said, yes, I'm going back to South Carolina. I'm going to South Carolina to hear the word of God. I'm going to hear the man of God because he has our word. Amen? Amen. And I also want to say this, that I thank God for being a, a gift to this ministry. A lot has come out of me giving. Glory to God. I can speak for myself. Glory to God. I try to always keep money in my pocket in case the man of God say I need a seed. I believe that the seed that I've given to the man of God has kept me. Glory to God. I believe it has kept me. Glory to God. And I want to say that since through my giving, God has blessed me with a house. The mayor gave me a house. Glory to God. It's called A&O Men's Aftercare Center. It'll seat for me. It's a six-month program. Glory to God. First three months is intense. Last three months, I ask them out and give them a job. A man need a job. A man got to work. Because why? It'll keep it from being busy. Glory to God. Keep us from doing devilish things. Amen. Best thing can ever happen to me is work. Clocking in every day. And that's because of your seed given to the man of God. I've been blessed with a house. The man told me, and this is the truth, he said, you get that house done. And he said, I don't care if you don't exit but one man out, I'm going to give you the rest of the houses in Swainsboro. So I'm looking at it. being blessed, being a millionaire, me. I 
had talked to, to y'all about calling some of the members about memory lane. But I talked to uh, Bishop Robinson and Sister Robinson on yesterday. And I, we got to talk about things we experienced back in the day in uh, 1769. And she started remembering things, and I was remembering things, and she got so excited. And so I don't know where they're going to make it, but she called me back, make sure she got that date, and she said they're going to work on trying to be him and be that, because she said, oh, she, she want to be a part of every man.
Okay, before we get ready to go, I just want to say, um, I don't know if anyone knows, but yesterday we had an accident right in front of our church. And the car that, that was in the wrong was coming across gray. The other one was coming down the trolley line. And it spiraled out of control and it wound up five feet from the, uh, the pillars in front of our church. The young lady had to run out in front of her, don't come to traffic. And when I got here, everybody was laying on the ground and they was tending two different ones and whatnot. And, uh, but come to think of, you know, after looking at it and, and checking everything and talking to the officer, everyone turned to be out all right. Everybody came out all right because they were standing on holy ground. mind on that holy ground. Yeah. <laughs> the truth, yeah. That's right. And at the temple. At the temple. We, we've canceled a lot of our services and people are paying for it. God has given me the attitude and the fortitude to put in more than just regular time. We're going to need it. I, I prophesied to you about the change in our country. You've seen that change. It's going to get worse before it gets better. But a transfer is about to be made. The government is going to be transitioned. Amen. So get ready. I said get ready. Many of you are going to be promoted to positions that's going to blow your mind. The kingdom of God is at hand. Thank you. Whenever everybody raise their hands. To God. To God. Be the glory, be the glory. Forever, forever and ever. And ever. Amen. 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 One shake, one of them. I need to see combined choirs. This is concerning Fifth Sunday.